What is up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nash and in this video, I'm gonna be going over how you can major in finance. Now, the first thing you have to do is gonna be to pick a specialization. A lot of colleges allow you to specialize in something or concentrate on something. So if you are a finance major, you can concentrate on risk management, corporate finance, investment banking, those are just a few examples. Now, what this is going to do, this is going to allow you to have a solid foundation, and it's also going to give you a starting point once you graduate. So let's say you uh, concentrate on risk management, right? Maybe there's a risk management organization on campus. You can join that. That's going to allow you to build a network of people with the same major or alumni that work in that industry, right? So that is just one aspect of it. So once you graduate from college, you can start applying for risk management jobs simply because you probably have a lot of information and you've probably built a network of other people that specialize in that. Or maybe you know some alumni that already work in risk management so you have to pick a specialization and uh, once you get into risk management and you realize that you don't like it it's going to be a lot easier to you know switch from risk management to any other area in finance because it is a lot easier to to jump around once you're in the industry but you need a place to get started. You need a solid foundation. Picking a specialization is gonna give you a starting point. And once you are in the industry, you can go anywhere you want. Now, you might be asking yourself, how do you actually pick a specialization? So one of the things that I did when I was in college is I watched a lot of videos. I wanted to go into corporate finance. What I did, I go on YouTube, I look up a uh, day in the life of a financial analyst, right? Or day in the life of an investment banking analyst. There's, there's lots of videos that are related to maybe any area in finance. You can look up consulting videos, right? Uh, there's so many channels that go over specific information. So this should give you an idea on what to expect if you like it, if you don't like it. Now, another thing you can do is you can reach out to people on LinkedIn. I've done this before. I reached out to someone who was working in a position that I wanted to work in once I graduated from college. And I can tell you that nine times out of 10, those people are more than willing to help you if you're just asking for insights. So I definitely recommend reaching out to people on LinkedIn. The next thing you can do is go to networking events. If you are in college, you know, there's always going to be networking events. You can go to those, uh, especially if there's alumni that work in an area that you want to get into, you can ask them questions on you know the things that you're concerned about or things that you value the most so those two things were to help you pick a specialization so you pick a specialization that you think you might like you do research on it which is maybe watching youtube videos asking people that are in the actual industry or maybe you know going to networking events and things like that so once you pick a specialization let's say you know exactly what you want to do the next thing you want to do is going to be build your resume now you are going to have a big advantage if you're a freshman because you have four years or five years however long it takes you to graduate from college that's the time you have to build your resume so building your resume is going to be what separates you from everyone else right let's say you graduate with a 4.0 gpa and someone else is a 4.0 gpa the only thing that's going to separate you from the other person is your resume your work experience right so you need to build that i know that a lot of internships are not really open to freshmen so if you're a freshman work a part-time job that is related to finance it might be a simple data entry job do it that is how you're gonna build your resume when i was in college i worked every semester and every summer by the time i graduated from college i had a full resume of actual work experience right if you looked at my resume i was not talking about working at a fast food place or something like that it was something that was related to finance i worked a data entry job i worked as a financial analyst i worked as a you know a finance assistant now these are things that you can do to really really build your resumes and you have to do as much as you can this is going to separate you from a lot of people the last thing is going to be to build your Microsoft Excel skills. A lot of companies use different software for different things, but the one thing that they're never going to escape from is Microsoft Excel. So a company might use PeopleSoft, uh, business objects. They're going to export the data to Excel in order to analyze the data. So you have to understand the importance of Microsoft Excel in finance. Microsoft Excel is one of those universal skills in finance that everyone that works in finance should have. So just to recap everything, the first thing you have to do is going to be to pick a specialization. Once you pick a specialization, research that specialization and see if it's something that you're going to want to do, right? The last thing you want to do is going to be pick a specialization, go blindly into it and realize you don't like it. 
So you have to do research on it, which might be watching videos on YouTube, uh, looking it up on Google, uh, going to networking events, reaching out to people on LinkedIn. So once you figure out the specialization, you do your research, you have to start building your resume. That is going to be the main thing that separates you from everyone else when you're competing for a job. Lastly, it's going to be the universal skill in finance, which is Microsoft Excel. Almost every position in finance requires basic knowledge in Excel. So learning Excel is going to help you. All right, so that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.